Hey everyone, I'm Enra Silver and this is another episode of Glitch Slap by Enra. In this episode, we'll be looking at more of my Glitch Stack of the Day tweets with a focus on bubble pipes. Bubble pipes are one of my personal favorite pieces in the game and I have experimented with incorporating them in many different ways. Before we get started, I've got a quick note about terminology. I noticed that I repeated the button sequence for the Universal Adjacency Glitch, or UAG, eight times in the last episode, and I'm sure you're all as tired of hearing me say it as I am. In this episode, I'll simply say, use the UAG to bait X piece and switch in Y piece. This means to select the switch piece from the menu, press triangle and square to cache it, then copy the bait piece, green state it where you want the switch piece to go, and then press triangle and R2 to place your switch piece. Let me know in the comments if you find this change helpful. Without further ado, let's start with a fairly simple glitch stack that consists of a bubble vat and 12 bubble pipes. Start with glitching a floor onto a point and dropping a small wall at a 90 degree angle to the wire. Delete the floor and glitch a bubble pipe onto the point. Snap three more pipes to create a circle and then three more to make a second interlocked circle, giving you a final shape similar to a figure eight on its side. Now green state another small wall on top of the first and reverse wire glitch, attaching the wire to the original center point. Glitch a new bubble pipe onto the new point and make another figure eight with pipes. Glitch a bubble vat onto your original center point and you're done. The next glitch stack consists of an alloy arch, an angled window, a small wall, an illuminated side, two bubble pipes, and two candelabra blooms. Start with a floor. Off one side, snap a paving and two small pavings. Delete the paving and the inner of the two small pavings, then snap a floor on the inner edge of the last paving. Now that you have a second floor spaced 1 16th of a floor away from your first floor, snap a small floor onto each edge so there's no gap between the floors. Now green state a bubble pipe on either side of where the gap would be, line the pipes up with the second row of tiles on the small panel with about one third of the pipe overlapping your original floor. After deleting the small floors, grab the candelabra bloom and move your can camera underneath the bubble pipe. Press down on the D-pad to turn on free replacement. Now the piece green states. Shrink it down until the bottom ring is entirely merged into the bottom of the pipe. Repeat on the other side. Now use the UAG to bait a small wall and switch in an angled window on the edge of the second floor panel, making sure it is facing towards the second floor panel. Now pick the alloy arch and snap it to the edge of the first panel, merged with the angled window and bubble pipes. Now pick the illuminated sign and green state it on the edge of the alloy arch, sizing it to just slightly shorter than the arch. Now snap a small alloy wall on top of the alloy arch and you're done. The next glitch stack consists of eight table lamps, eight industrial pumps, and 24 bubble pipes. Start with an eight-sided light box. If you have any questions about how these are made, I'm linking episode 16 of Glitch Slapped on screen now. Once you have the box, move each side out two more boxes, making sure the connector points clockwise around the circle. Use the UAG to bait a light box and switch in a bubble pipe at the end of a row. Delete the outermost box in the row and then repeat around the circle. Once all eight bubble pipes are in place, snap two more below each one and delete the middle pipe. Use the UAG to bait in a bubble pipe back in the middle and switch to a raised paver. 
Repeat all the way around the circle, then pick the table lamp out of the menu and place it on top of the raised paver, using the markings on the top to center it. Enlarge it until it merges into the bottom of the original bubble pipe. Repeat around the circle, then delete all the raised pavers and bottom bu bubble pipes. Now snap two more pipes above the original, making sure the second pipes all bend inward. Now use the UAG to bait a light box and switch an industrial pump on the end of one of the rows. Work your way around the circle, delete the light box scaffold, and you're done! The next glitch stack consists of eight bubble pipes, eight planetary globes, and eight short-range teleporters. Start with an eight-sided light box and glitch a bubble pipe onto each connector. Use the UAG to bait another bubble pipe above the first and switch in a planetary globe. Repeat around the circle, then glitch a short-range teleporter onto each light box connector and you're done! The next glitch stack is pure bubble pipe beauty, 25 of them to be precise. From the base of the 8 bubble pipes you started from in the last glitch stack, snap another one on top of each pipe. Then snap another pipe onto each one, making sure this time the pipe bends inward and then pokes out the other side like so. Then glitch a small floor panel onto the original point and drop it down one short wall. Now use the UAG to bait any max size object, I use a bio lantern here, centered on the small floor and switch in the bubble pipe and you're done! The next glitch stack consists of four light tables, four triple lights, four golden blob statues, 16 bubble pipes, and a bubble vat. Start with a small floor panel, and on each side use adjacency to go from a doorway to a frontage. Snap a full floor off each frontage, then delete the frontages and center small panel. Place a small wall off to the side for copying, then use the UAG to bait a small wall on each of the inner edges, and switch in a light table. Now use the UAG again to bait a small wall on each inner edge and switch to a bubble pipe this time. Now snap another pipe on top of the first and delete the bottom pipes. Select the triple light from the menu and place your cursor underneath one of the pipes. Size up the light a bit and place it. Repeat around the other three pipes. Now snap back in the bottom pipes and use the UAG to replace the light tables that cascaded. Now glitch a bubble vat onto the center point and snap a third pipe onto each group of pipes, making sure this one bends inward and through the bubble vat. Now place a golden blob statue centered on each mark on top of the vat. Snap one last pipe vertically onto each group of pipes and glitch a light fissure onto the center point. All done! For the last two glitch stacks, we're going to look at two different ways to angle pipes. Our second to last glitch stack consists of eight small wedges, eight planetary globes, and 16 bubble pipes. Starting from an eight-sided light box, go out one and up three light boxes. Green state a light box back inward one and adjacency to a light floor. Now create a standard glitch point centered on the light floor. 
extend the boxes out one more, making sure the connectors point clockwise. Green state a second outward light box, reverse wire glitch, and attach the wire to the top point. Glitch a bubble pipe onto the bottom point of the wire and snap another to the top. Work your way around the circle. Then select the planetary globe from the menu. Wire glitch the globe to the top center of each pipe. Now use the UAG to bait a light box and switch to a small wedge off the outer edge of each light box and you're done. The last glitch stack of this episode consists of 20 bubble pipes four bubble vats and four signal boosters. Start by glitching two walls onto a point and then using UAG to bait a short wall and switch to a light panel on the top wall. Center a standard glitch point on this light panel. Delete the bottom wall and use the UAG to bait the wall back and switch to a light panel. Snap two more light panels off each of the sides of this light panel. Starting at one arm, delete the outer light panel, green state it back, reverse wire glitch, and attach the wire to the top connection point. Now glitch a bubble pipe on the outer end of this wire and snap three more pipes upward. Repeat on all other three arms. Snap two more pipes below the first and delete all but the top and bottom two pipes. Pick the signal booster and wire glitch one to the center of each top pipe on the bottom. Snap all the pipes back in place and delete the bottom one of each arm, leaving you with five pipes in each arm and the signal booster merged into the bottom pipe of each arm. Now drop each of the light panels down two short walls, then place two more light panels outward. Select the bubble vat and place it on the new light panels, centering it and making sure the signal booster just barely merges into the vat. And that will do it for another episode of Glitch Slack by Enra. If you're new to the channel and found this video useful or at least mildly entertaining, please do the YouTube things. Thanks for watching. This has been Enra Silver, and until next time, may you bathe in the Glitch God's munificence.